Well, the hardest part of this project is just to carry that, drive it, five gallon bucket down here. Man, that thing is heavy. I know the other one is even heavier because it's, it's got, it's got more in it. Okay, I can leave it like that. I think that'll work. Ah. Oh. I know I'm going to get some of this on the step, but that's all right, I think. Now, where's the, where are those patches? Okay, it's hard to even see it. dries, we'll hold our breath and let's see if it blends in. If it doesn't, we'll have to cross that bridge at that time. Yeah, that's a good one there. Light enough, or I think it might be too light when it when it dries, but I don't know. It could just be perfect. We just I'm gonna put some on this column. First off, just over the uh, the caulking here. Just a hair. Both sides. Last thing I want is a nice ridge over the top of my caulking area, right? But I don't see any ridge. So far, so good. Been stressing over this for the last few days. Like, okay, how am I gonna, how am I gonna get rid of the caulking lines? What, how am I gonna put that on with the roller? Is it gonna stick with the roller? I haven't even gotten the roller out, have I? Let's use my, my paintbrush.
I'm not feeling too terribly hopeful that this color is going to blend in all the way here. Try a different technique here. That actually worked pretty good. Kind of painting it on and leaving bits of it undone. I should have done that. I think I should have done that on these patches here. Because I could see lots of little black dots where the sand is not. And because I kind of swirled that in, I'm not seeing that now. Over here, I, I, can, I can still see it to a certain extent. And what I may have to do is get my brush out, my cleaning brush. Maybe, I don't know, maybe with some water. And kind of brush over the top of this. I don't know. I want to get. When that dries, that definitely is going to take away the caulking lines. That's where the exact paint color on the stucco is it going to match. I'm not being very hopeful, only because. You know, this is on the back side of this column. It's in this dungy area. The water could have splashed up. Stuff could have come off of here over the last 15 years and dirtied this up. And I think what I'm going to end up having to do is go over this whole back side of this column. The whole thing with my paintbrush is what I'm thinking. But we can see. We can see. I can leave it just like this and let it dry and see what happens. I can, I can see there's, there's certain areas down low where I use the paint. Not blending in, I can see. I'm looking, looking at this. What do you think about that? Is that you think that's? I thinking when that dries. See that side seems just a hair cleaner than this. This looks darker because it's probably dirty. You know, and I and I probably could have taken a uh, a cleaning brush and my and my simple green, and I could have cleaned that entire thing on that side. I'll bet you that that would uh, that would have been better. But I think it's a little late now. It's a little late now. I could do it after this dries. See, so there's different things you can think about. That, or letting this dry, if it doesn't blend in, I can take this and go over the entire back side of this column. And I think ultimately that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm thinking, so I just can't see this matching set. Too clean looking. Here. Still taking off little bits of sand. Okay. I think 
that's all I'm going to do with this particular stucco patch material. We're going to let it dry. I'm going to get that other stuff. I'm going to bring that down here. Oh, that, that container is even heavier because it's all the way up to the top. This one's, this one's missing at least almost a third, this uh, five-gallon bucket. The other one is almost full. I'm going to have to carry that one down here. And then I'll mix that one up. And that one's going to go over here. And I think it's going to blend in pretty good. We shall soon see.